The medicine takes effect. Memories start rolling in. This one is from your childhood. It's Father O'Malley from the Demille Boarding School. You feel your memory slowly return. Double exclamation point. Okay. Well, cool. Let's get more of our memory. I like memory. Um, the capsules again. Duh. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So, deja vu moment number five. Another memory suddenly hits you as the medicine takes effect. It's Taco, your pet dog. Say woof, Taco. Wanna play? Taco sends you to the hospital for stitches. <laughs> That's fantastic. That is good. Alright. One more dose. Three times a charm. I think I'm getting close to a YouTube 10 minute warning, so right after this dose I'm gonna end it. I really need to remember to actually time these. Another flashback comes to you, obviously signaling the fact that your memory has almost returned. It's Suzy Q, the girl next door. Wow. Suzy Q gave you your first kiss. Collective awe, everybody. One, two, three. Aww. Alright. Suddenly, you feel great. You now realize who you are. Ace Harding. That's it. Your Ace Harding. Private Eye. Alright, we're Ace Harding. I'm Stefan Scott. Cheers. Alright, YouTubers. This is Stefan Scott, and we are back with Let's Play Deja Vu. I think this is part 8, maybe? 7, 8, 24? I don't know. Anyway, we now know who we are. All kinds of stuff. Oh yeah, this is part 8, and I'm supposed to apologize that I just had that little intro there, because, um, I accidentally went over the 10 minute limit last time. So I had to cut that around to not make it an AB. Anyway, now let's go upstairs. Let's see what we got. Move upstairs. Ace Harding, Private Eye. Hey, that's our office. You're standing in front of an office. The words, Ace Harding, Private Eye, are on the door. Could this possibly be your office? Quite possibly. You see someone's shadow through the glass. Hmm, that might have something to do with that whole homeless guy saying, uh, by the way, someone's waiting to kill you. You know, that whole, that whole bit. Alright, what would you like to use? this on. Probably that guy. Him. Bam. You pull out the gun, point it straight ahead, and pull the trigger. Blam! You shot whatever was standing inside the office. Cool. Let's go in. Uh, we have to use that same key five, so I guess Key 5 is a master key for this office building or something. I don't know. Whatevs. Uh, the door. Click! The key worked. Alright, let's go. Wow, our office is ratty as shit. What's up with that? You see a dead guy lying on the floor. Too bad you had to do that. That is too bad. Alright. There is probably a drawer on the other side. Pro probably? Is there or is not there? There is, with an ammo case. A, it's a box of ammo. Oh, that's a clever name for it. I actually think we might be done with the gun in this game, but let's get some ammo anyway. Take. 
And even if we weren't done, we have a bunch of bullets from before. Anyway, get five bullets, or six bullets. Cool. Let's check out this. The file cabinet looks somewhat interesting. Okay. Let's open it. Open the cabinet. File five, six, and seven. Alright, let's take them. Take the file five. Take the file six. And take the file seven. For good measure. Alright, now let's see what it is that we have here. Alright. Here we go. The letter says, Ace, I've got a way to get you off the hook. It's a simple kidnap job. Just pick up this wealthy woman and deliver her to me. I'll collect the ransom while you get to live. Your debt's paid. If you bungle it, if you bungle it, you'll take the rap. I've got everything planned so that nothing will lead to me. This is the only offer you'll ever get. So decide and call you know who. Well, either we're the bad guy here, and that's one hell of a stage. This file reads, Sugar Shack is known to have a hatred for something that Joey Siegel did to her. Who the fuck is Sugar Shack? file reads, Sugar Shack was the blackmailer in the Alderman case. She is doing five years. Oh, that must have... Sugar Shack, that was the whore. Snazzy. Alright, well, I think we're good. So let's go. You're in front of... Yeah, I know. It's my office. You douchebag. Okay, back in the lobby. Let's get out of here. Let's go somewhere. Actually, we're gonna go back to the bar now because um, A, we've exhausted all of our other leads, and B, we have the combination to the uh, safe in Joy Siegel's office. You're in the back of the cab. The hack in front seems nervous. Oh, I've read that like a million times. I'm not doing that anymore. Yeah, 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 75 cents. Stop taking all of my money. You jerk. Sure lucky that we have that slot machine right in the beginning of the game, or else we'd just be screwed. Um, coin. There it is. Yeah, you're sure welcome, pal. Okay. Oh, shit. Oh no, this is right. I was thinking we were pulled up. We we're supposed to pull up right in front of the bar, but we're not. Oh yes, my favorite bum. Newspaper stand. Joe's bar. Let's get in there. Yes, I know it's empty because I because someone killed the owner, and it's an over day. Okay. Mm-hmm. I know there's a dead body. Everyone knows there's a dead, dead, dead body. The American people know there's a dead body. Okay, anyway. Um, we need... I think it's Note 3 that has the combo on it. Yep. So, in a totally unintuitive way, we use Note 3 on the safe. Click. It's open. You seem to have hit on the special combination. By hit on it, I mean I I set a piece of paper on it. It's a wall safe with a die. I know that. Damn it. Oh, it's already open. Never mind. Sorry. Folder. It's a min Oh. Should probably open it. Probably work better. <coughs> Alright. Note one. 
Why is this one note one? You know, it's one of the last notes we can get in the game. I don't know, I'm just throwing that out there. We'll read it in a second, I wanna get whatever else is in here while we're in here. Key four. Awesome. Take the key four, yes. Hey, I think actually I'm about out of time here because I have to figure in for that intro part, so um new part coming soon. This is Devon Scott. Peace and cheers to all.